For a field effect transistor, the small signal model is based on the Taylor series, as was the case in all the other active devices that we've analyzed so far. In this case, uh, we have to use a two-dimensional Taylor series. You can see up here at, to at the top, um, we have uh, an expression for the two-dimensional Taylor series. It's um, f evaluated anywhere at x and y is approximately equal to f evaluated at the specific point x0, y0, which we'll call the q point, plus the derivative in the x direction times the little delta x, plus the derivative in the y direction at that point times the delta y. So we want to apply that to the drain current for the field effect transistor which is a function of VGS and VDS in general. And we can write that as the large signal value, which is the uh, capital I sub capital D, or the little i sub big D, the total ID evaluated at the uh, Q point, VGS and VDS. And then we can add on the small signal quantity, which is all this stuff over here in the orange. We have the uh, rate of change of ID with respect to VGS evaluated at the Q point, where the Q point is, is this point over here. Um, that's the, the large signal um, point times the little V sub little gs, that's the delta VGS. And then we have here the derivative of ID in, in the VDS direction times the little delta VDS. And that, of course, is also evaluated at the Q point, the derivative is. And if we add these two uh, orange expressions together, we get the little i sub little d, because the total i, little i sub big D, is equal to the big i sub big D plus the little i sub little d, which you can see over here. On the input, it's very easy to make a model because there is no gate current, little i sub capital G equals zero. So that means the gate just comes in and, and stops, and there's no current flowing in there, but there is a gate connection. The gate to source voltage is the, the voltage at the gate minus the voltage at the source, as you can see here. And over here, the drain current is these two terms. The first term right here, which is represented by this current, uh, voltage-dependent current source, and, and the little r sub o over here, which is uh, represented by um, 1 over the partial of ID with respect to VDS. And <clears throat> so we have here the small signal model of, of the field effect transistor. Often we can neglect this little r sub little o. It comes uh, because of the slope on these curves right here in the beyond pinch off region. You can see it right here. 1 over r sub o is that slope at the q point. And that slope is um, often almost zero for uh, long field effect transistors. Um, but nowadays, um, people are trying to make field effect transistors as small as possible so you can fit more and more of them onto an integrated circuit. And when you make them short channel or very small, then you get a thing called channel length modulation. And what happens as you increase VDS, it changes the, the length of the channel. The length of the channel actually gets shorter, and so the resistance um, starts, uh, you know, more current flows there uh, because there's, uh, there's uh, the length of the FET is actually uh, shortened. So that would mean that uh, you could get more current through uh, the higher you make uh, VDS or the shorter the channel gets.